Vortex, I, I just had a very intuitive thought. And it might be intuitive to me, and only me, but I find it interesting. There's this movie that I just watched, it's called They Live. And it's all about this dude who lives in Tent City who discovers these glasses. I'm actually not gonna go the direction that you're gonna expect me to go. All right, um, <laughs> he puts on these glasses that allow him to see the truth about people. And uh, he sees all these subliminal messages and all the advertisements and he sees that a lot of humans, supposed humans, walking amongst the city are actually uh, these these demon-like creatures. They look normal, but then when he puts these glasses on, he realizes that they're uh, well. I mean, we don't know what they are, but they're not human. Okay. And uh, I was thinking about. Uh, this, this constant talk of, of race in this country. Um, I was thinking about how people that are of a particular political persuasion are just always so focused on the topic of race. Um, I was thinking about my Marxist friend or Whatever he was, he was a friend at some point. I don't really talk to him anymore. Um, I see him every every once in a while in comedy, and we're we're cordial, but um, can't can't really stand his ass without a fuck ton of pot. But um, yeah, um, got my cold brew. Yeah, I was thinking about how. Every time that I've seen him, like, he's just always picking. Like, he's, he's always trying to... It's like a fucking... He's like a vulture, just, like, picking at the the, the... the bloody carcass, just looking for... You know... Anything he can, he can eat. And... What... <laughs> what he tends to munch on the most is... Is... Fucking... Racial injustice. And it's like, I mean, they really are vultures. They're just constantly picking, like, look, looking for that. So, so they can be like, see that there, I caught you. I caught you being racist. I caught you. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to go online and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whine about it. <laughs> like... If you don't, like, continue the conversation, if you don't engage in that, if you're like, okay, um, change the subject, change the subject, change the subject. What's being changed? The subject. Well, I, I, I try to, uh, like, evade it, like, very, very, uh, subtly, like, I'm, I'm a sneaky bitch when it comes to that sort of thing. It's just because I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed with people like that. It's just aggravating. But I work with somebody like that, too. And I, I feel like her situation is a little different because she's got a mixed kid, so she has, like, a reason to, you know, be worried about her kid. Uh, but anyway, I was thinking about that movie. And I was thinking, man, we should remake, like, a, a, a short film, like, or, you know, maybe, like, a tribute to that movie, only it's about race. So, like, any time that you put a particular pair of glasses on, you're suddenly obsessed with race. Like, you know, like, this person's black, this person's black, this person, this person, this person's black, you know? Like, just gotta fucking constantly draw attention to that shit, as if talking about it helps at all, you know? Like I've said before, whenever the conversation about race is mediated by a deranged leftist lunatic cultural Marxist, the conversation is 
It's not gonna go anywhere positive, I'll tell you that. And another thing, it's like, whenever you get accused of, of, of racism, it just seems that somebody wants to discriminate against you because you're pointing out a fact or you're, you're speaking on a problem that we have in our society and you're not allowed to do that unless you know you're criticizing a white male that, that's that's the only time that you're allowed to complain about anybody's bad behavior you know and that, that's fucked up and everybody knows that shit but they're afraid to say it because like <laughs> like since when did, did getting called a racist become like the worst thing that could possibly happen to you I mean this this culture is just so stupid and, and the things that it, it concerns itself with. You know, like, I know that I'm not hateful towards anybody, you know? Just because I say things that people find hard to hear, that doesn't make me hateful, you know? I'm very, uh, I'm not, I wanna say optimistic about the world, obviously not, but like, you know, more positive in the way that, like if I wasn't, like why would I try uh, to, educate people about what I think the actual issues are so we can search for real solutions rather than just you know kicking up dirt because like that's all these people want to do and I wonder people people are so fucking blind because they all have dirt in their fucking eyes you know <laughs> that's all they do it's all they do is kick up dirt but anyway I was just thinking like you know these people that are so obsessed with identity politics and it's not just race either it's everything People are so obsessed with identity politics, it's like they're the ones that have those glasses on, you know? They want to accuse everybody else. I mean, it's obvious projection, but they can't see that because they know nothing about psychology. But anyway, they want to, you know, further their little agenda that they don't even know exists because they're part of that brainwashed masses that, you know, they just, they think that if they talk about these things in a certain way, that makes them a good person. Especially white people, they're like, I'm a good whitey. I'm a really good whitey. I'm doing the right thing and I'm bitching at other white people for, for being white. I'm saving the world. <laughs> I'm saving the world for being too white. And I'm gonna go sit my race with a Coke bottle now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's like, people that are obsessed with a particular narrative, they want to project that and they, they want to accuse you of being obsessed with, with race and, and looking at everything from that lens. But they're the one that's, that's wearing those glasses. They, they want to accuse you. Put these glasses on, put these glasses on and you'll see that everything's about race. You'll see, <laughs> you'll see the racism in, in, in everything. And, and you won't be able to avoid it, and you won't be able to shut up about it. Because constantly talking about it is really, really making it go away. <laughs>